Hey guys, hope things are going well. So today we are going to be looking at some bee houses uh, that I got. So I got some bee houses through uh, We Bee House, if you can see the card there. So I contacted Joe, who is the person who creates all of these bee houses, uh, and I found him actually through a person that I follow on Instagram. So I did reach out to Joe uh, to see what bee houses he had for sale uh, because I wanted to get some bee houses for my own uh, area and my garden. So as you know, I have a butterfly way garden uh, with lots of native plants. So I really do want to create, you know, that ecosystem environment where all pollinators are able to come, find food and also find some shelter as well. I think if you asked me a couple of years ago if I would want to attract more bees and insects to my property, I probably would say no. I tend to not like a lot of flying things close to my ears, uh, but I'm finding that a lot of our native bees and pollinators, you know, they mind their own business, so as long as I'm doing my own thing, they'll do their own thing. So anyways, let's take a look at uh, the bee houses that I got. All right, so here are, well, here's the box uh, for the bee houses. So there is a lot uh, of bubble wrap, which is good. Um, so, Let's see what I can pull out. There's some um, information here. Take these out. Oh. So there's a card with contact information and also a cleaning uh, kit. So it is a mason and leaf cutter bee care sheet. Uh, so some information on what to do and how to take care of these bees that decide to live in these homes. So let me take out more of this plastic wrap. I have two cleaning kits, so I'll save that and open that some other time. So here is one of the first bee houses, which looks super cute. So let me open this up. There we go. So here is uh, one of the bee houses. So this model is called the Villa. So our mason bees and our leaf cutter bees would um, put their little babies or their larvae in there. And then also uh, any food that they need. So this was a cute little house. There is a little hole in the back. So this is good because I was kind of curious how uh, one would put up a bee house like this. So I think there are, yes, so there are some components here. So apparently you can clean and put the little larva in there at some point. And what's nice with these bee houses is these are actually wooden holes for nesting and you can actually clean these out. So compared to a lot of cheaper bee houses that you can find, you know, once you use them, uh, it's really hard to clean them and you have to buy new ones because you don't want any of those um, mites or parasites uh, to fester and kind of grow in there uh, and put your bee population at risk. So a very cute little bee house there. I also got another one. Uh, this one was a little bit more pricey, um, but it's actually really cool. So let me open this one up and I'll show you. All right, there we go. This one didn't have plastic wrap. It had tape all over it, so it was a little harder. Uh, so this bee house is called uh, the Observation Bee House. So again, a little slot so that way you can hang it. But what's really cool with this bee house, again, you know, you have those little holes where the bees uh, can nest and put their larva. But what's cool with this one is you can open it up and you can actually see uh, those nesting chambers. So as the female, you know, leaf cutter bee or mason bee is putting their little babies in there, you can actually open this up and see uh, what's going on. So anyways, let me put this back. So there are two sides to this, so that is really cool. My goal is, is to have this outside uh, where my butterfly way garden is, so that way if there are any kids or curious parents or adults 
in the neighborhood that want to see what's going on, they're more than welcome to take a look and see uh, the pollinators that are, you know, making this their home. Anyways, I'm going to go uh, put these up somehow, and I'll see you later.